And the national government has handed over 38 million shillings for the whole Jojo solar power irrigation farm project to the Garissa County government. The Department of Agriculture's Chief Officer Bashir Abdullahi, who spoke at the handing over ceremony, said the bulk of the funds went to the purchase of the irrigation system that included the solar panel equipment. The project was started in 2012 following the severe drought that ravaged drier areas of Kenya in 2010, which led to calls for quick intervention by development partners whose main purpose was to address alternative livelihoods for the pastoralist community who lost a lot of livestock. The project was implemented through the National Agriculture and Livestock Extension Program. Bashir Abdullahi, who is behind the project, said, the project is the best because of the technology they are using. According to him, the diesel generators powered irrigation projects were expensive to run and maintain. Uh, and running cost of the irrigation pumping sets, uh, which normally increase with time, and which because as, a, as the machine de de depreciate, there's a tendency for the cost of maintenance in terms of repairs and services uh, tending to go high. What we did here was conceptualize a nexus that integrates energy, mainly from solar, water pumping using energy from solar, and distribution of that water to the field to produce food at a scale that makes commercial sense. I want to thank the donors, particularly Nairobi University, who have come up with this program. On behalf of the farmers of this area, I want to say thank you. Normally, professors and the university dons are people who make development in their country. A lot of water is said to go to waste during floods that could have been harvested for use during dry spells. River Tana has not been utilized to its fullest. The chairman expressed concern of the growing disconnect between the county and the national government.